Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and we are here in Alberta, Canada at Moose Lake, and our primary goal is to see if we can't catch the splake. This is a hybrid of the lake trout and the brook trout, if I'm not mistaken. I have not caught this species, even though I've caught everything else out of here. So we're approaching the peak here on a looks like a snowy day so I've been told they are easier to catch on cloudy days so I don't know if this is gonna work or not but we'll give it a shot if not we'll come back on a cloudy day but as you can see I earlier tried fishing for Atlantic salmon and I caught a pretty impressive one and I was doing float fishing with minnows so I'm going to show you a quick clip of that Come on, guys. Yeah, they seem to like these minnows pretty well. Now, the um, they also like the shrimp, but... Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see what we got. Okay, this guy is hefty. This guy's, this guy's pretty hefty. I haven't had this much resistance with the salmon on this uh, Brutus rod, that's for sure. Come on. Well, heck, I wonder if it is Atlantic salmon. Sure fights like one. Yeah, they jump. The Blake trout don't jump so much. Whoa! Very nice. New personal best, 17.84 pounds. That, my friends, is a nice salmon. Very nice. I always like to get my personal best. <laughs> well, let's right out there, guys. Anyway, most of the uh, most of them that I caught there after that point was pretty much regular size. But uh, not too bad, not too bad. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you the gear I've been using. I'm using my Rivertex Sal Monster. And I know that's a heavy duty rod, but these are some heavy duty fish that we're going after here. And I'm also using my Redfish 4500 0.018 Floral Line, which I think is 25 test. And now I have a crankbait on there and I think I'm going to go ahead and switch that to my uh, tiger spoon, one and a half ounce. That seems to be my go-to for this particular lake. That's got a four-aught hook on it. I've already got one here as you can see on my second rod, my Farcaster 8 foot by 6 inch, my Cyclone 5500. This has only got 0.014 lines, so I think that's like an 18-pound test. I'm not absolutely sure on that, but we're going to use the, the River Tex first here, I think. But I'm going to be fishing in a different spot. I usually fish off the dock, so oh, I still got this with my float rod here. I better switch that over. There we go. Yeah, usually I fish off the dock, but this time... I think we're going to fish over here. I've been told that these splake are easier to get from over here. But they're not easy to get. They're very 
apparently very elusive. And I'm determined to get at least one of these guys. Now they apparently come in uniques, but at this point I'd just be happy to get a common one. Now, like I said, I did try the minnows. I didn't have any luck with float fishing for them. Yeah, it takes, one thing I found, it takes a long time for that to get to the bottom here, guys. But the lift and drop here just absolutely works fantastic. There we go. First bite. Kind of close to shore, too. Ah, brook trout. Not too bad. Yeah, we'll keep the little fella. Yeah, that's some good eating right there, guys. If you like trout, those there's some good eating. Yeah, we're gonna try to primarily fish out around this certain area next to that little rock outcropping that sticks out. Man, this is some deep water. It takes it a long time to get to the bottom. See, I thought I actually was having a problem with my... or a glitch, but it really, literally takes that long to get to the bottom. Huh? Whoa, there you go. That's cool. What's that? <laughs> Trophy yellow perch. Not bad. Yeah, I've been catching the occasional yellow perch, but this is a big lure, so if I get any on this, there are going to be trophies at least. Now well, we got something else here. Okay, this one. This one might be something. It's a little bit bigger. I don't know. I think it's a lake trout, though. Yeah, it's a lake trout. Not to sound disappointed, because catching any lake trout's not a bad deal, but still can't find that splake. All right, get another shot here. Alright, we got us a bite way out there this time. Okay, this one, this one's significant, guys. Been told the splay can come as heavy as 20 pounds, so... This could be our fella. I'm not sure how these splake fight. I don't know if they fight like the lake trout or they fight like a brook trout it's hard to say but whatever this is it's it's big like I said 25 pound test line and it's pulling pretty hard come on boy he is big He's definitely a big one. Wow. Okay. He's going to give me a fight, guys. All right. We're getting him in here. Okay. I think I got him this time. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I got him. Another personal best, guys. Another personal best. Trophy Lake Trout. 32 pounds. More than 32 pounds. That is a massive fish. That is a massive fish. I always like getting personal best. That's great. Right out here, guys. I would just keep fishing anywhere along here. So far, I've been getting quite a few surprises, but not the one surprise I want. <laughs> All right.
right. I don't know where you are, Splake, but... Oh, I bet you we got another perch here. Yep, another trophy perch. Almost two pounds. He's bigger than the last one. Boy, this guy's hard to find. It may very well be because it's not a regular cloudy day. I don't know. If the conditions aren't right, I tell you, you're not going to get what you're looking for. Alright, guys. I think we're getting about to the end of this. It's almost 8 o'clock. And I've just gotten a few more lake trout. Another perch, regular size. I thought I fished with this for a little while, but I'm just not having any more luck. So I think this is pretty much done. Anyway, guys, we will be back again. I promise you, we are going to get this flake. And until then, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And always remember, guys, aim straight, cast long, and have fun. I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.